Otter. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ian. This is the Essential Handyman. Today I'm going to take you through another episode of what's in my survey kit. And today we're going to be looking at keys. There's all sorts of keys in here. Let me take you through what I have in my survey kit in terms of keys. And this might help you. You might think, oh, I need some of those, one of these, one of those to help you in your day jobs. Let's take you through and show you now. Okay, these are the keys over my survey bag. As you can see, there's quite a few of them. I will go through these poles one at a time and I'll let you know what they do, how often I use them, etc. Okay, first and foremost, we have what are called fire brigade keys. These are known as FB keys. There's six types. You've got an FB1 and the, I've normally got a designation on the key. That one there, can you see it, what does that say? see that's an fb1 that's a short one i have all different types there's only six fire brigade keys you've got an fb1 which is a mortise and rim key you've got an fb2 which is a mortise and rim key fb4 which is a slam lock you've got an fb1 padlock key fb11 padlock key and fb14 padlock key the padlock keys are these smaller ones here there's three different types i've got a variety of FB keys, I've got these ones, I've got a another set which are different lengths, this and it's got, you can see there, three different types of padlock keys, two the same length, one very small, and if you notice my FB ones on this are much longer than these ones because you get ones with different depth um, rim locks, and this is my these are just FB keys. These, these two poles are FB keys and drop locks. So I use those, but this is my old singing or dancing pair that's normally on my waist. And this has got the FB ones as well on there, all different types. There's a few speciality keys. This one is a radar lock. Now a radar lock, for anyone who's disabled will know, it's the key to get you into a disabled toilet. And I do lots of design work and project management of disabled adaptations, whether they be lifts, extensions. I do lots of toilets, shower blocks, things. So this is a key for a radar lock. This is a gas box or electricity box key. This is one probably from the gas board. It says meter box on there. It's just got a triangular shape at the end. This one's a nice lightweight one. I have other ones. Got this nice ornate, really old one. And that's got the triangular shape at the end as well. So they're my gas box keys, my radar key. This is a mortise key. So for example, when you fit a lock to a door, before you've got the, you fit the handles, you have to put your square bar through and then you put the handle both sides. This opens up those locks if you haven't got a handle on them. And it's these sort of keys that you find on things like um, meter cupboards as well. So if you've got somewhere where you've got a fuse board, a CCU, you'll quite often have one of these on the ends. I've got a different one as well, which is much longer, much heavier duty, and that's got a bigger square on the end. You can see they're two different sizes. So you, you need a selection of different keys. These, these are called drop keys. Now I've got two different types of these, because they, it's meant to be universal, but they never are. I've got one there, if you see here, the end is different. This one is slightly shorter than that one, but the bit here is longer than there. Drop keys are primarily used to gain access to lift shafts. So if you need to access a lift shaft, there's always a hole at the top of the lift door. You put this through the hole, it goes through, it drops down, and then you can twist it and it opens the lock this way. So the lock is sort of uh, vertical rather than horizontal. 
and it goes into the hole in the lift shaft drops down and you can twist the lock but you need two different types there's two different types i have found even as i say even though they're meant to be universal i've got both types there these keys here are very specialty they are made by a company called girder now these keys here hollow at the end and they've got all different types of permutations of the way that the keys are bidded and the locks etc now i've got a h16 a h18 a h9 and a h19 i've also got a d1 it's each key that's got so that says h16 there so this is to a h16 lock and it will have h16 written on that lock Gerda do 80 different types of locks and keys in just the H range. Now these are called H range keys. There's also one called D. We've got a D1 and there's the only lock they do is a D1. They also do, uh, now these these keys, you can, if you want to get these on a the black market, these can cost you anywhere between 50 quid and 250 quid each because they're only meant for people working in public facing jobs, police, fire, ambulance, someone who works for the local authority, etc. They are very, very hard keys to get hold of. I've got five of them. I'd love to get a master one, but you're only allowed to get those if you're fire or police. You can get those on the black market for 250 quid a master key, but it's a bit cheeky. They all do, do something called a, a barrier gate system. I don't have any of those, although I'm making inquiries because that allows you to get through barrier gates. And it's pretty much only two of those used. It's a T1 or a T2. There's another key here. This is made by a company called Burnley. It's called a Burnley key. It's known as a BB511. And this is used uh, by lots of places for accessing to things like... Um, security cages, getting into roof areas, you know. Obviously, we don't want any Tom Dick or getting on your roof. And the last keys, apart from my drop keys on here and my radar key, I will do, these have got a few FB keys on them as well. Oops, no, wrong, wrong bunch. So, I've got my radar key, my gas box key, my drop key there, my rim key. These are, this is a, uh, it's what's called a fish towel key. So it's for emergency lighting. You test emergency lights uh, and fire lighting, etc. by using one of these keys. You just flick it up and down. And the rest of these are all window locks. So when I go in a property and we're replacing windows and we're putting the old windows out, I will take one of the, the keys from the windows and put it on here because you'll be surprised at the amount of keys that will open other window locks. We've got a selection here of about seven or eight of them. I quite often use these in a property where I need to access to check windows, ventilate a place if there's gas or something. And normally these keys will get me in to that window. But as I say, if I'm fitting a new new keys in, in new windows into a property and there's 20 of these keys lying around I'll normally put one on the key ring if I'm replacing old windows and they're going onto the skip I'll take one of the keys and it's quite handy to have a selection of window keys as I say they will help you out or they bind thanks for joining me today thank you for spending your time with me hope you enjoyed it and got something from it and uh, I'll catch you on our next video see ya